Innovation and Design Thinking IDT VTU Module 3 Design Thinking in IT by J. Babu Design Thinking for Business Process Modeling Business Process Modeling BPM is a way of dividing business processes into their basic components, functions and performed for the business. BPM shows clearly and concisely how a product or service changes as it moves through the organization process, usually in the near real time. Procedure models facilitate communication between stakeholders, business analysts and process partners. BPM models provide shared understanding so that everyone can provide information to various process-related steps, process map, process detection, process imitation, process analysis, and process development. It has come in the last few decades and has replaced the organization's previous effective packages, Time and Motion Study, TMS, and Total Quality Management, TQM. Procedure models facilitate communication between stakeholders, business analysts, process partners, and developers. Advantage of Business Process Modeling 1. Align operations with business strategy 2. Improves process communication 3. Increase control and consistency 4. Improve operational efficiencies 5. Gain competitive advantage Design thinking in business process modeling By disclosing how things are done in the organization, and comparing that with how they should be done, BPM highlights dependence and interpersonal relationships, process, and technology, and when those elements are ready to be improved. Design thinking is also focused on development, but it takes the experience of the end user or customer as a starting point. Basically, design thinking uses empathy to understand how people feel about using a service or product, including where their frustration lies, and then builds on that knowledge to build progress with the ultimate goal of improving customer lives and knowledge. Agile in Virtual Collaboration Agile methods are so popular in the software industry, however, they have received so much praise that other industries also want to pursue its benefits in their businesses. Working in a global environment makes these structures very challenging to function effectively. The Agile method can accommodate changes at any time compared to the waterfall method and that is why collaboration between clustered groups slows down processes faster. Without communication, interactions, improvements, editing, reviews, review times, etc., it also greatly reduces time and effort. Remote or distributed performance is considered competitive and is considered a suitable performance model. Some companies also offer it as an option to its employees. Businesses want to nurture talent day and night, utilize the best talent that can be found locally, the cheapest labor in the world, the higher productivity and the more strategic reasons. With the growing demand for remote operation, it is unacceptable to state that faster methods will not work with distributed teams. Although a few temptations will emerge, with the help of tools and techniques for moving to a remote workplace, it is possible. Allow openness. As a company or leader, create a transparent environment. Provide a sense of confidence in the team members for the decisions they make to organize sessions with them so that they align these decisions with the goals and vision of the company. Do not keep your responsibilities confidential. Explain the functions of the functions. Make sure the results are public as a whole. Collect the answer. Establish open communication channels. Establish a culture of continuous improvement. Call for improvement within the team. See opportunities for improvement and get ideas from the group. Listen to the suggestions and take appropriate action. The Agile goal drives continuous development 
and thus team members are open to opportunities for development. Generate calculated tests to use improvement efforts. Communication Communication is probably the most important skill in any group. The way you organize your communication is what determines the outcome. Practice deep communication at all levels. Too much emphasis on communication is key. Communication does not only have to happen through emails, calls or meetings, but in business most communication is done with the help or ERP tools that help you stay busy all the time. Rhythm Building There are three essential elements in a fast-paced workflow, clarity, testing and flexibility. Transparency, inspection and adaption are the three pillars of Scrum. It is important that we build a tempo that works close to these Scrum pillars. Develop a culture of courage and flexibility. This also goes hand in hand with the idea of immediate failure. Failure is not bad, it's okay to fail. Here, though, the main issue is the immediate failure. Set up a place where the team has the courage to take action to try something new. The idea is to reduce delays. Find failure quickly and re-engineer your plans. Establish a stable environment and work-life balance. A well-distributed team usually keeps its normal working hours leading to overtime or working overtime. Establish rules and ensure that no member of the team violates these terms, prompting partners to apply this principle. Plan accordingly and set reasonable expectations. Visualize the whole thing. The most important step. Task planning is a simple utility tool that gives you a clear interpretation of tasks to be completed. Establish a solution that allows team members to monitor the flow of work, show who is working on it, guide together and be able to choose the right priority and at the right time. This solution will help you to scan problem areas and restore them properly to improve your processes. Scenario-based prototyping Design thinking is best if concrete prototypes can be used to visualize new products and services. However, in complex software systems with multiple users, such portable prototypes are not possible. To overcome this problem, a situation-based prototyping method can be proposed to design complex software programs based on models, both structural and behavioral models. This approach will support step-by-step -step enrichment and interoperability of the model, the sequence between the artifacts collected during the previous design phases and scenarios. The models provide a more legitimate result of the process of designing low-level engineering works, so that the gap between design and engineering is narrowed. Circumstances define the sequence of events reflecting the activities of one or more individuals in the real world. Goals should be realistic, detailed and concise. Since this is difficult to do quickly, it is best to cover only a limited time in a situation. One can distinguish between terms of use, which is a type of dialogue and independent analysis that occurs today in real-world settings and design conditions, which are updated versions of usage. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.